Oh, it opened up an, another slot too. Fantastic. <laughs> I love that. Oh yeah, baby. This is like the uh, the vibro blade from Star Wars. Not really, <laughs> but it's awesome. We're gonna be whacking, whacking in style now. That didn't sound good. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we have some things to do. If we look at the to-do list on the right-hand side, we are going to first launch our 50 smart plate in the space elevator and move into Tier 3. I'm going to set up a temporary um, reinforced frame production line because we're going to need those for things and uh, may end up actually doing a permanent one. Of, well, we will do a permanent one of those. It's just a question of whether or not we're going to do it in this factory or the new place. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of research in the ma'am, and then we're going to go out and look for some more hard drives to get some more alternate recipes. Okay, so let's get started first of all with the smart plating inside of, where the hell am I at? Inside of here, uh, I put my first 50 smart plates that we got from uh, here, uh, that we got, you know, that we made there. And uh, so let's throw these in our space elevator. Okay, seal them up. And send them off. Boom. I love that. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, that... Uh, do we have... Okay, do we have to wait... Oh, see, now, oh, Jesus, now we have to make 500 smart plating for the next. Yeah, this exponentially increases uh, for tiers 5 and 6. Um, okay, but uh, we won't be, uh, almost certainly will not be doing that here. Uh, we'll do that at our, our newer factory. Um, for those of you who don't know, this this is a lot more than it might ap first appear to make all this stuff. So, uh, anyway, okay, so we got that taken care of and did that. What did that do for us? Oh, look at that. It unlocked tiers three and four. Um, so this is amazing. Uh, and even gets us into logistics mark three when we get to four. Okay, so we have coal power. Um, we have vehicular transport. Uh, so we can make tractors. Um, we can do basic steel. And we can do um, improved melee combat, the Xeno Basher. Um, this one actually, because I am planning on doing a little bit of exploration in this episode. Why don't we do this one right now? Because I have all of that stuff. And we can get the better melee weapon. So we, we need a 200 of those. Um, improved melee, select a milestone. Okay, put all of those in there, put those in there, and all of those. Milestone reached. R&D inflated your pocket dimension, added an additional hand equipment slot, and have provided an improved Xeno Zapper with increased strength and range. Hot damn. Improved Xeno Zapper. I need one of those in my life. Okay, so, um, uh, our Xeno Basher. So, we, uh, yeah, see, we need five of the re uh, or modular frames, that's what they're actually called, um, to make that, and we need to make another small... Uh, zapper too. Um, so let's make that right now. The power of two Xeno Zappers. Very good. Okay, let's go ahead and um, check off launch smart plating. We have that finished. And now we're going to make our temporary frame production. I think we're going to kind of do a similar thing that we did last time where we're just going to set something up down here in this little space. Um, so let's bring up our our search bar and type in ass again. I, I don't know. That just amuses me. <laughs> um, ass assembler. And uh, we'll put you right here. And we're going to set you up for modular frames. You're going to need reinforced plate and 12 iron rods. Okay, you know what? Actually, that mm, we might do this a little bit differently. Let me go see how much space we have up here. Let 
Okay, so... We do have a little bit of room to maybe set something up along the top here. Um, we need a, another reinforced plate. And we're going to need... Yeah, okay, here, let's do this. Let's... Uh, second thought, nope, I want to do it down here. It's just going to... I think it's just going to be easier to hook everything up. Okay, let's put... Let's put you right here. Maybe over this way a little bit. Okay, so this will be the input. Let's see. Let's go one. Uh, actually, that should be good. Okay, so that'll be the input for... Uh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just hastily doing this. I haven't thought it out ahead of time. I'm going to move this back a little further. And maybe over this way a little more, too. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> just come right on in. Uh, okay, so we'll set this one up to do a, a stitches. And you need iron plate and 20 wire. And this one is going to do modular frames. You need rods and, iron, uh, and reinforced iron plate. Okay, so we'll put a lift here and just send it this way. And we'll put this lift here and go that way with it. And we're just going to put that in there. I don't care about making it nice and neat. This is temporary. Um, and then you uh, just need rods. Right? Uh, yeah, rods. Okay. So our rods are in here. Lots of rods. Okay, cool. Let's... Power you up here and power you up there. Uh, no clipping, okay, good. Um, okay, so this needs copper and normal plates. So again, we're just being sloppy here. We don't give a shit. We're just uh, trying to get this done as quick as possible. Quick and easy. Here, let's put a lift on here. that. Okay, so that's sending wire down there. That's sending plates. Plates, wire, we're good. Okay. Um, and then we need a, uh, we need a storage bin for this stuff. There we go. Okay, so that should get us some modular frames going. Um, oh, yeah, I know what else I was going to show you. We now have in the awesome sink uh, 14 coupons. Look at that. Fan freaking tastic. So, yeah, we're just feeding the extra smart plating into here. Um, at some point... I, I might either set up a larger smart plate, smart plating uh, production line because we need 500 of these things now. Or I might just keep doing what we're doing here and start storing them up again uh, after I get a few more coupons. We'll see how that goes. We can also, um, if we do end up setting up a modular frame, you know, a permanent modular frame production line here, then those will be another option that we can feed the excess into the uh, awesome sink. Very good. Okay, so we are done with our temporary modular frame setup. Uh, we're going to do some stuff in the MAM next. I want to I want to get to um, the Explorer, uh, which is why we need 100 modular frames to uh, you know, to, to uh, research that. Uh, we need to research Crystal Oscillator first. 
Um, so we need to make a hundred of the quartz uh, things. I've got a lot of quartz ore in here. Let's just grab a couple stacks of that, and we're going to just make the crystals in here. We need a hundred of these. Okay. Let's go to quartz and research the crystal oscillator. Huzzah! Okay. Um, so that opens up radar technology, radio signal scanning, which allows us to scan four hard drives, I believe. Um, we have the explosive resonance novelisk. I'm not sure exactly what that does. I, I want to get normal novelisk going uh, because then we can blow up rocks that are hiding slugs and get rid of poison, the, you know, those poison plant thingamadoodles and all that. Um, all right, so for this, we just need 100 frames and 10 oscillators. What does it take to make the oscillators? Um, hopefully I can do that in here. Can I do that in here? I can. Okay. So that's just going to require more crystal thingies, and we have all of the rest of that. So it looks like uh, it needs 36. Yeah, 36 per. How many did it say we needed for that? Let's take a look again. We need we need 10 of these. So that means I need 360 uh, of these to make 10. Uh, oh, no, this does two, so I only need 180. Okay, so, yeah, let's make them 180 of these. I'm going to need to grab more quartz out of here. I did go on another little mini walkabout to the forest, uh, but I didn't film it because I was just gathering uh, biomass because I keep running out of power now that we have all this shit running. <laughs> uh, we'll probably need to put some more uh, biomass burners down. We haven't... We still have enough capacity to handle everything, but it's, it's they're just running out really fast, and I'm going to get to the point where I'm not going to be able to keep up with it. So, what... A, oh, no. we got to do these first. Okay, so 180 of these. There we go. Um, also, it occurred to me that we, should, we need to get going on our next thing. Um, we need frames for that, we need frames for that, and we have everything for this, except for we're going to have to make some rotors. And this will allow us to start scanning for coal too. So let's select this milestone. Um, let's run over here first and get this done. Uh, oh, we, yeah, we need 100 frames for that as well. We have 12. <laughs> okay, so it'll be a little bit longer. I might, uh, I want to get that vehicle before we go exploring, so I might make those manually. So while we're waiting for that, let's get uh, 50 rotors made up. I don't really want to take away from what's being manufactured upstairs because that's got to uh, stay, you know, stay on task. All right, we have 50 rotors. Let's put everything in here. And we are now in the coal era. Milestone reached. Coal is an improved alternative power source to biomass and can be fully automated if provided water with the new pipeline buildings and power throughout the initial setup. Coal has been added to the resource scanner. Note, ensure the close proximity of water to the coal production line. Note, pumps will aid in vertical transport of fluids through pipes. Note, throughput and volume indicators are added to each pipe section automatically. Excellent. All right, the first thing I want to do is I want to see if we have coal in this direction. I know we have coal in that direction and way off up there, but do we have anything close by over here? No, we don't. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I know where those two are because I tapped into those in my uh, season five. But um, okay, we got a pure and a normal, and then we've got some pures and normals. Oh, that's all. Those are all pure. Okay, I know where all of those nodes are as well. 
actually, no, I think those were the ones I was thinking of before. And this little marker here that I put on the map, I have, I have some um, portable miners just mining coal. Um, and once we get the Explorer, we'll be able to, you know, get over there more quickly and just grab it by hand to use it until we can get it producing. Now, one option we can do with a coal plant is we can set we can set one up now and just you and just manually fill it. Um, the advantage to that is, I mean, we we have to manually do the biomass anyways, and this is going to give us you know better power. So each one of these plants gives us 75 megawatts as opposed to 30, you know, from the biomass burners. Um, we might do some kind of a little temporary setup of that in the next episode. We're not going to do that in this episode, or in an upcoming episode, I should say. Okay, we have 20 frames made there. Um, all right, now, ma'am stuff. Let's go back to here. And... Yeah, we're waiting for 100 frames there. Okay, let's go to sulfur and start unlocking some stuff here. I've got some sulfur and I have some coal. Uh, let's just grab everything that we currently have and put... Do I have any... Yeah, we'll put whatever quartz we have. Oh, shit. How did I make so much extra of that? <laughs> I don't know. Can't take me anywhere. Um, all right, so let's go to sulfur. And we want to uh, research black powder, which takes coal and sulfur. Okay, smokeless powder. We're going to need plastic for that, which we're not ready for. Does... Yeah, oh uh, shit, we need steel pipe for this. We can make steel pipe in here. No, we can't, because we don't have steel yet. Okay. So, yeah, that's... Uh, we're Okay, we're kind of at a roadblock on the sulfur then, for the moment. Experimental power generation, I believe, is going to give us batteries and capacitors, things like that. But we need frames. And we need plastic for smokeless powder. So we're pretty much have done everything we can do there for the moment. Um, that needs steel pipes. Can't do anything with that. Fabric. We could do fabric. Um, that will allow us to... Uh... I guess I'm not storing the biomass itself. Well, actually, if we're going to do that, I should probably just make it manually anyway. So let's grab a stack of wood, or half a stack of wood. And one of the things that'll give us is that'll give us a parachute. Um, where were we at? We were on Mycelia, right? Yeah, that'll give us a parachute. A toxic nobelisk. Well, can we just... I don't think we can... Can we make Nautilus, first of all? No, we can't, because we need the detonator before we can use him. And the detonator we're, we're held up on. Alright, so... Let's make, um, 100 biomass. Okay, got that. That was easy. And then we'll go uh, grab some mycelia. Which I have here. And then the parachute will require 10 things of cloth and some cable. It's funny that they use electrical cable for the lines on that. We can also do this. Um, I just have to make the, th the stuff for it. This we need those Oh, gosh, I, the thing, I can't remember what the hell those are called. <laughs> the little rotor electrical motor thingamadoodles. Um, okay, so we're done with that. With Caterium, um, yeah, we, we can't really do anything with Caterium right now. And alien organisms, scannable object enemies, we need... We do have some circuit boards that we found. We need steel for this. All right, so we're pretty much... Uh, caught up as you know as much as we can be on the ma'am at the moment. We still need to make our wackadoodle, and we're and we just need five frames for that. Let's grab all these frames. Here we go. All 
Oh, it opened up an, another slot too. Fantastic. <laughs> I love that. Oh yeah, baby. This is like the uh, the vibro blade from Star Wars. Not really, <laughs> but it's awesome. We're gonna we're gonna be whacking, whacking in style now. That didn't sound good. Anyway, <laughs> God. All right. Um. The what are we doing next? We have done our mem research. So let's do that. And what I think I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut the camera until I get enough frames to make this. And then once we have enough frames to make this, and well, I gotta make the oscillator thing thingamadoodles too. So once we get all of that, uh, we'll unlock the explorer, <coughs> excuse me, and then, um, and then make it. Hopefully we, we have all the stuff that we need to make it, and then we'll use it to go exploring. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, we're back, and I have everything I need to research the Explorer, and I also uh, made up the stuff to try these Shatter Rebars. Uh, my guess is that these are kind of like a fragmentation kind of situation, I guess. And so we can try those out in our Rebar Gun. To make those, we just need Rebar and more Crystals, okay? So we'll come back to that. Now let's go to Quartz and let's research the Explorer. Nice. Okay. So, let's see, do I do the Explorer here? Yeah, I make this in, oh shoot. <laughs> Damn it. I should have known that, wasn't, we weren't going to get that quite this soon. Ah, all right. Can we make those things in here yet? Probably not. Nope, we can't. Okay. Uh, we, we just, we're going to have to move to the next level. So, well, at least we got it researched. I mean, we had to do it, so it wasn't a waste of time. It's just, um, it was a little too good to be true that we would get that this quickly. We could, um, and we do need to do the tractor, so we could do that instead. It's not... You know, the tractor's not as um, uh, all-terrain <laughs> as the Explorer is, but it, it gets around pretty good. Um, and then, of course, steel production, we need to get going on that, too. And we it'll open up some products. But uh, let's actually do... Yeah, let's do vehicular transport first. And maybe we can go ahead and make ourselves the, the tractor. So we'll put all of this stuff in there, and I'm going to need <coughs> I'm going to need to make a hundred rotors and grab uh, and more of these. Let's see how many more of these do I have. I keep grabbing them out of here, so we're not accumulating a ton of them. But we have 20. All right, let me get all the stuff together uh, to get this going. Okay, that gives us our hundred rotors. And do we have any more of you in here? Yeah, got enough frames. Get those going. And let's get the vehicular transport launched. Milestone reached. Long range transportation, as well as the construction of outposts, is now encouraged. Vehicle stations have built in functionality to refuel and restock or collect parts. Excellent. Okay, so what do we need to make our first tractor? Um, oh, actually, that's not bad at all. There's five more rotors, and uh, we can power this just using biofuel for now, but it also takes other types of fuel. But biofuel is really our only option at the moment. Um, okay, what else do we need? Some more frames. Okay. Let's go ahead and make our tractor. Cool. All right, so it's not the uh, it's not the Explorer, but uh, it's something. So I think can we just put any kind of biofuel in here? Yeah, we can. Okay, that's nice because if we're out and about and we run out of fuel, we can just grab you know plants or logs or whatever. Uh, but I would rather put actual solid biofuel in there. 
So let's grab a stack of that. And stick this in here. There we go. <laughs> All right. Woot. We got wheels. We got wheels. So uh, for those of you who are new to the game, we can um, we can pro we can build roads and then we can program. Oh, am I going to be able to make it down here? Program these things to it just barely fits. In fact, technically it's not fitting. Uh, oh, we got a little airtime to run routes for us and go, you know, go pick up resources, bring them back to the base and all of that. Very nice. Okay, let's just leave this down here for the moment. And I need to make some more of the the crystal stuff because I want to try out these new uh, this new ammo type. Okay, let's try. Let's make some shatter rebar ammo. All right, we are ready to set on out here. So um, I think what we'll do is. Um, yeah, let's let's head this direction um, because I want to take a look at or, or pick up a load of coal for one thing, but I want to take a look at the, um, the kind of the setup there because I'm the more I think about it, I just I mean I just ran out of power again right before I uh, started the camera back up and. Um, I think what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to set ourselves up a... Oh, no, we don't want to go that way. Just kind of like a, a temporary coal s setup. Not not the full shebang, because we'll do that... Oh, man, this thing turns on a dime. Uh, not the full shebang, but, you know, just enough to get us going um, so we don't have to keep relying on biofuel. Okay, so we have... A hard drive here. I think we may have already done this one though. Okay, so let's. I'm so glad we have another slot. Let's put this here and we'll put this here. That way we have melee, we have uh, first aid, and we have this. Now to change the ammo. Okay. Yeah, this is this is a shotgun. That's exactly what this is. Okay. Cool. Um. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> One shot. All right. I love it already, you guys. Absolutely love it already. Okay. Oh well, didn't one shot at that time. I probably didn't get all of all of the pellets. Okay. Have we already done this? Yeah, we've already done this one. Okay. No problem. So, um, yeah, let's just kind of keep working our way then towards the the coal deposits. And I just want to kind of assess the situation over there. And um, the tentative plan, like I said, for the next episode is to to set up some coal power for us. Just a, a temporary setup. All right, let's go through here. And, well, oh, there's a big boy. What we could do is we could actually even build a road um, or even just do it over, over land. I don't think we need a road necessarily. Probably would do the road though. And then we could just have this tractor or a tractor. Wow, this thing is really squirrely. Uh, deliver the coal to us. Because I think we would want to put the the coal fact <clears throat> we'd want to put the coal plant near our base because we are going to have to manually, you know, um, refill it and stuff. And I don't want to have <clears throat> have to travel far to do that. Let's look at the map. Where the hell am I at? Okay, yeah, we need to kind of go this way. There's a blue slug. Not. Yeah, let's get a little bit further away. Hmm. How come 
the first one. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, you just got to get a good solid shot on him. I'm a fan. Yeah, we one shot that guy. Just got to make sure all the pellets hit it the first time around. Okay, can we just do this? No, we have to build a, <clears throat> a ladder up there. So let's just set down a one of these. This will work. These have a, a ladder built into them. Nice. Okay. Suck it, dude. Yeah, I'm definitely a fan of the shotgun. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, baby. Let's get this. Grab this Samor. I. I don't remember exactly what we need this for, but it's probably we probably need it for research or something. I'll be making myself a lot more of these shatter rounds, that's for sure. Alright. Are you guarding anything in particular over here? Oh, well, might help to load it. Okay, we better take a hit of that. Cool. All right, let's continue on down towards the coal deposits. Whoops. Nope, not work, bitch. Oh, that's right. This has a crafting bench in it. That's fantastic. I forgot about that. So yeah, what <clears throat> what we could do is um just have the tractor here deliver the coal to us. Just because again it's 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 gonna be a temporary thing. Um and I don't want to go to all the trouble to lay down a bunch of conveyor belts if uh, if it's temporary. I don't know if we can get over there from this direction or not. Let's just see. Damn. Can we run these things over? <laughs> uh, I'd say not precisely, but we can do that. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Suck it, dude. I'm all about some shotgun action. Okay, let's go over this way. We need to be careful because I think there's a, a giant spider in this area. Don't want to run into him. Okay, so here's the coal deposits. And sometimes there's some hogs around here. In fact, I killed one earlier and missed getting its thingy. They must not have respawned since the last time I killed them. Okay. Yeah, I think there's a, a <clears throat> excuse me, a giant stinger spider dude that's right over there. So I want to be careful. Now, does this have storage vehicle? Yeah, this is all storage right here. Okay, cool. So let's grab all the coal that's currently in here. But if we can just, you know, kind of set up a route for our tractor uh, to come back here and pick up the coal and then bring it back to our base, 
um, it'll, it'll be kind of like a semi-automated setup. So both of these are, that's a normal and that's a normal, but I think there's a pure node uh, around the corner here. Grab these berries. And I saw, yeah, I was going to say I saw a bacon mushroom too. I'm just looking to see if there's any bad bads around. That's a normal too. Uh, is this the pure? Oh, no, they're all normal. Okay. I was thinking, oh, I know what, the pure, there's a pure up there on the, up that way. That's that's what I was thinking of. Okay, there's a hard drive across the way here. Uh, we might need to build a bridge to get to it, though. Pretty sure we will have to do that. There's a, a limestone deposit with a hog. Oh, shit. The two hogs. Where'd that other one go? It's right here. No, 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 no. I'm trying to grab that. Okay, is there... Uh, what is this, by the way? That's normal. Okay. Let's run up on this arch. Sometimes there's slugs up on the top of these things. Of course, I think we would notice it if it was here. Okay, so there's a hard drive right there. Um, so we're gonna... Pretty sure this water's too deep for us to drive into. So we're gonna need to make a bridge to get across there, which we can do. How deep is it right through here? Yeah, it gets pretty deep right there, okay. When you're, if you get your vehicle in deep water, you have to basically disassemble it and rebuild it. Okay, so let's go to this toolbar here and we'll get one meter foundations and zoop them. Zoop de doop. We're going to have, I think, a big plasma spitter over here, so I have to be careful of him. Okay, let's go. I want to be careful I don't fall off the bridge, of course. All right, where is that bad guy? There he is. Okay, we might... He's hes going to be dangerous. So we might cheesy McSqueezy him. Where is the ladder? Here it is. Hey, cut it out, bastards. That's a little bit out of range for us. Oh, we better take one of these quick before these guys hit us. Pushing the wrong button. They just about damn near killed us. Take one of these quick. Unbelievable. 
All right, we're back at the tower. Um, I want to get rid of you. Oh, damn it. There. Okay. That takes care of those guys. Oh. Fuck off, dudes. Oh, there's more down there. Uh, another pod down there. We gotta eliminate that too. They're just gonna keep giving us a hassle. Oops. Uh, here. I was trying to. Got it. Okay, let's go back to Shatter. Shatter. Uh, shatter rounds. How many of those do we have left? Oh, none. <laughs> We've used them all. <laughs> okay. We're going to cheese this guy because he is dangerous. And uh, I'm uh, 0 for 1 today on combat, it seems. Um, we got 21 more shatter rounds, but... We should actually use the normal ones just because of the distance. Okay, let's take this guy out. Wait for him to stop moving and then we'll lob one way over there. Right in the ass. Beautiful. He's like going, what the hell is going on here? I think that one hit. Let's move ourselves closer. How about right there? Oh, we got him. Okay. Let's take this one out, too. Come here, bugaboos. Say hello to my little friend. Well, yeah, that was terrible. Okay, we still got this one too. Alright. Uh oh, he's caught underneath. Sucks to be you, man. Come at me, bro. Oh, he did. <laughs> he came at me, bro. Okay. Where's your giblets? There we go. Okay. The hard drive is actually up on the hill there. Just looking to see if there's anything down on the ground that we might want to loot. Not seeing anything down here. We'll probably we're probably gonna have to ramp up there. Yeah. Okay, we can do that. Um let's go to here. And we'll go to wall, or no, foundations, and four meter ramps. And let's just... Do that. You need one rotor. Um, let's go production, crafting bench, and we'll make a rotor. Do 
Do we... Oh, we have to put the rotor... Wait, what do we do? Battery needs... Oh! It also needs power. Oh, okay. Um, We can do that. Let's grab a biomass burner. And we'll put... Uh, can we put... Yeah, I don't think we can put coal in a biomass burner. Because it's biomass, yo. Let's get rid of that limestone. Um, I I could put a bug part in there, but I'd kind of like to save that for uh, making the DNA. Speaking of which... So, yeah, let's just go grab some wood or whatever. We'll grab this wood here. Actually, we won't because... Yes, we will. I can say I don't have my chainsaw with me, but I do. Do I have... We're going to need to pull some biofuel out of here, too. I guess I could have just used the biofuel that's in here, huh? Um, but... What we will do is we'll just make some real quick. All right. Um, let's just throw that wood in there. All right. Now we should be able to open this up. Huzzah! Hard drive. All right. And that's all we got to do with this. Get rid of these guys. Okay, let's put the hard drive in the storage of this. And uh, I want to actually put all the coal in there too. And I guess we can put the extra biomass in there. All right, I'm trying to think of where else we can get another hard drive. I mean, they're all over the place. I just... Um, I'm not super familiar with this area down here. This is... This has been redone since update five, and I think it's called like the Spires biome or something like that. The Spire Coast. And it's it's really pretty. But I'm not super familiar with it, especially since it's been redone. I am very familiar though with the Northern Forest. It's just that there's no easy way to get up there from here. We'd have to go all the way around. And I do know where, you know, some hard drives are up in that area. So let's uh let's turn around and You know what? I think I think there is a hard drive just out this way. What is this? Oh, that's just iron. We don't want to get that. Um yeah, let's go over here because I think maybe there is a uh if we can get to... Oh, sh... Yeah! Pop in much, dude? Oh. Okay. Um... Guess he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> There's some Caterium. We should stop and grab that. Um, you know what, though? Just in case homie there decides to come back around the corner. Where did he go? Where the hell did he go? I bet he's in the water. Oh, he's way over there. 
That is a long shot. He heard it. Okay, here. Let's, um... Let's get a little closer. It's kind of cool how they hear it and they kind of go towards it. Even though they don't know where we are. Oh, yeah. That got your attention, huh? Does he still... No. Hmm. I still don't think he knows exactly where we are. Oh, right in the nose. That hit him. There's a little guy down there. He's down. Okay. What was that? Looked like I threw my rebar gun away. Big meanie. Okay. It's a good thing we weren't, like, just walking around the corner here. <laughs> okay. Um, well, let's go over here. This is a real pretty area. Oh, there's a blue slug. I'll bet you that's what that dude was guarding. We will take that. I know there's... Yeah, there goes our power. I know there's oil over here, too, I believe. Ooh. There's a cave. With a blue slug in it. And probably all kinds of other nasty things. Two blue slugs. Oh, yeah, poisonous. Yep, can't go. Can't go in there. Not until we get the gas mask. Or the noblest, so we can blow them damn things up. Okay, um... Let's just kind of go this way a bit. We have to be careful when we get over here because we have more poison plants. I thought about building um, off of this shore too, to the north. It's also another real pretty place, but I think I, think I want to go um, well, hello dude. You're one big dude. If I jump up here and cheese you, are you going to attack me? He shot a boulder at us out of his mouth. What's up with that? Talk about kidney stones. Ugh, missed. <laughs> Sucker. Oh, not that time. I think we got him. Did we get him? No, he's still alive. Now he's dead. Man, that was something else. Okay, um, I got off the tractor to grab that thing. And we got some 
quartz up here. You know what, though? I don't think I'm going to grab that. We don't need it right at the moment. We might be able to get through there okay without getting poisoned. Um, let's try it. Ooh, I don't know. This is risky. Just kind of threading the needle, I guess. Oh, yep, there's the hard drive. Okay. That's what I would thought was over here. Um, we got some bugaboos up there. Are they coming this way? Uh-oh. I didn't even see him there. Ah! Let's switch to shotgun since we're close range here. Yeah. Hope our tractor doesn't take damage. Have some shotgun in the nose. Did we kill him? We killed him. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's eliminate this thing so it doesn't pester us when we come back through there. Assuming we do come back through there. Nice. All right, I guess that was the monster guarding this hard drive. I hope that was the monster driving this hard drive. Or we got another one. Oh, there's no. I think I see two. There's two little guys right there, but I'm not as concerned about them. Let's switch back to shotgun. Got him. Okay. What do we need? Nothing. It was a free one. All right. Cool. I like free. It's a good price. This is cool. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to... Uh, we're pretty much out of time here for this episode. Um, so I'm going to go back to the base, and I'm going to start making plans for setting up a... Um, a, a starter coal plant or power plant I should say um, and see if we can get that going for us so we're not relying so much upon um, biofuel uh, oh, can I get back where I need to go if I go through here this is really cool in here though we'll do a lot more of these little exploring episodes as time goes on and you know the thing is is the Explorer vehicle is definitely better for getting around, but the tractor, the nice thing about the tractor is I can jump on top of it, and it or use it, you know, as cover, and I don't, I don't think the Explorer, oh, there's a yellow slug over there, we gotta get that, gotta get that yellow slug, um, and I don't, th I don't know if we can use the Explorer to that same effect, so I don't know, maybe the tractor's really the way to go here. There's probably going to be something nasty over here. Game's just not going to give us a yellow slug for free. Question is, what is it? Well, I see a plasma spitter over there. Alright. There's two plasma splitters. Spitters, not splitters. They're little ones, though. Damn, 
to switch back to shotgun mode. Nice! That was a pretty easy yellow slug. We'll take it. We need to get our first purple slug to finish our research. It's just so neat looking around here. So yeah, anyway, uh, definitely something to be said for using the tractor for exploring in combat. It's uh, it's almost like a armored transport or something, man. <laughs> and it, it seems like the the mobs ignore you when you're in the tractor, which is interesting. And I, I kind of remember that from... Is that another hard drive over there? I kind of remember that from before, too. There's another blue slug. See, now I'm kind of in squirrel mode. I just, you know... Just... What's that? Oh, I don't know. What's that? Oh, I don't know. What's that? Oh, there's another one. All right, we managed to kill off a couple of them. There's a big spinner over that way. Look at that coral out there. That's new. I don't think that was in Update 5. I don't remember it anyways, if it was. Where did that that other alien part go? I don't see it. Oh well. Not a big deal. Here, let's do a couple things. Um, let's use these to heal up a little bit. Let's make sure this is reloaded. And we'll put this back down here. Okay. So, there's something over there because there's a big bad guarding it. See, he doesn't aggro on us when we're in the vehicle. Hmm. I wonder if that's the same for, um, oh, this is what he's guarding. So we we need noblists to blow this thing up, and there's there's something valuable underneath those rocks. It might even be a slug, even though I don't I thought I heard it, but I don't see the spark. Oh yeah, look, there's a purple slug under there. I just saw the purple sparklies. See them right there? Nice. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back and get that at some point. Anyway, all right, I, I need to let you guys go. Uh, so thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode where the plan will be to set up some coal power. See ya.